today I thought I would just give you a little bit of a tour around my little room. It's called Nail Bar. <laughs> I had, I did actually do one before, but I've got a few more bits and pieces, so I thought I'd just bring you in and show you my gorgeous little room. So the desk was from eBay, the chair was from eBay, that beautiful chair was from eBay, but it was like a, a mahogany one and it was a bit tatty and horrible, so I painted it. And it's this gorgeous gold colour. I'm not sure it's really comfy for two hours, but nobody really complains. And then I have this lovely mirror. And there we are, hello, hello. Okay, so let's go back to, let's start over here. So we have on here pictures of my girls on their are away. <laughs> I have a flower, which I didn't realise was this tiny. How many fingers can you get on that flower? So I've just ordered one today from Angie, Angie Bond. I can't remember the name of her site. Angie Glitter Mats, that's the lady. 4 99 for a big one. I'm 4 50 postage, so £10. It's a bit pricey, but I think it'll be worth it. So on here, we have some gel polishes. I'm kind of moving away from gel polishes now, and I'm going more on to acrylic powders. I'll show you those in a minute. And I did have a whole stack of ordinary polishes that I've been collecting for like, I don't know, 20, 30 years, but I took them all to the skip. I put them on for sale or swap. Nobody wanted them, so I took them all to the skip. And they're the only little bottles that I've got left. <laughs> my favorite one so we don't have any more so i've got these few gel polishes here and then i've got this lovely little rack which came from ebay my favorite shop um i've got a little heart on there as well look it's a bit a bit chewed now turn it around that way so no one can see so all my pinks all my purples all my neons um a few glittery ones do you know what? I don't really use them that often now. I'm more doing acrylic colour rather than these. And they're all your nudes on there. So I haven't really bought any for quite a while, to be honest. I put all my colours and glitters on pop sticks. And I found a useful trick for these fingers. So I've put them all on there. So on this one we have, these are all my acrylic colours now. And then we have blues and greens on this one we have silver and pinks and then on this one we have golds rose golds neons and some pigmented um over the neons and then on this one we have all the other there you go that's better uh, let me see all the other funky colours. Look at all those. Gorgeous. I bought a um, printing machine, a label machine, so I can label them all up. It is time consuming. It was, it was time consuming when I initially did it, but now they're all labelled. Look, and then when I get a new glitter, I stick them on the top here and then I do them when I've got time. Um, so they're all labelled on there. And these three pots here is where I keep all my glitters. So in one pot, you're gonna have all those, which is the rose golds. So I try and keep them all together. And then there's all your other golds. And they're all labeled up as well. They're just some oddments that I've got in there. So nothing, I think there's a, a green one and a dark green and gold. I am leopard, I think it is. So that's that basket. Just do a little bit back. And then in this one, we have all my silvers. And then underneath that, we have all my pinks. So again, these mirror ooh, those displays that I've just showed you. And these are blacks, reds, dark purple. Christmassy ones, I suppose. And then, in the last one, we have, sorry, the camera's going all over the place. We have all the, I've got shards, flakes, 
Um, I've got crystal, fire opal, chameleon fire, that's amazing. Rainbow lights, iridescent white. Uh, what else have I got in here? Got some grey black shards. Uh, Snow Queen. Oh, God, you got to get Snow Queen. Snow Queen's amazing. What else have we got? Fairy Tail. That's a pretty one. So all like my pretty, pretty, pretty. That This is my newest one. Opal Confetti. Then next to that, we've got these... Um, what do you call them ones? The ones that you rub in. Oh, my, you know what my memory's like. So I've got a couple of silver ones. I've got a holographic one. I'm not even sure where that was from. And, you know, the mirror effect ones. And then a rose gold one. I think that was off eBay. And a born pretty one. That's nice too. And then all my little applications, applicators to put them on. So that's in there. I'm not sure what else is in this basket, actually. Let's have a look. Ah, blues, purples, some of my new colours are in here. Lots of nice purple ones. And then in the bottom, we've got some of my new ones. These are my two favourites that I've been using all summer. A couple of peachy coloured ones. My own mix. That lovely neon one and these are the two that we've just used um jasmine and persian prince lovely and then this is one of my favorites this is angel by magpie glitter so that's all my glitters no it's not i've got some more here up here i've got this stack which i think is flower garden 12 pound i've used a couple of those actually i've got that purple on now that purple that's there is that one that i've got on that finger and then this stack i got from the glitter planet and this is their christmas stack so again i've just labeled those so i know so that's all my glitters um i'll put those back in a minute and then i've got my board of all the nails that i've been doing these boards I bought, I think they were £8 for four or five, which I bought from the range. And I've just got some white tack. And when I've done a set, I just stick them on. And what a brilliant way to display your nails. Let's see if we can get it into the light so you can see it a bit brighter, really. There you go. So some of these you might recognise from my videos that I've recently done. I don't want to throw them away because they're so... The nails are so nice and lovely, it's a shame. And it obviously shows off your work. Some of these are really early on, some of them are really crap, look at those. Look at the shape of them. Not been filed or anything. And then down towards the bottom, they were the latest ones that I did last week, the orange ones, green ones. That horrendous flower that I did. <laughs> so yeah, so that's a good way of displaying stuff. So that's on there. And then we've got these little boxes. And in there I keep all little bits and pieces. So I've got shell, that is. Natural pearl crush shell from Smiley's Glitter Store. And then there's other little bits and pieces in there. So I try and keep them all together. In the next one, we've just got those teeny weeny little beads next one we have some gems put um colored gems so blue pinks purples whatever and then they're just spares i never really use stuff like that to be honest the next one we have these are all my gems and we've got lots of different ones and these pots are amazing you just get these pots and just chuck them in so a lot of these are pinks, purples, and then the next one are all clear ones, and again, a stash of clear ones. These are trays that you get from eBay, these are brilliant, 
pounder tray and a bag of, well, I think they're mixed glitters and chunky glitters. So they're really handy. And I've also got four of these. These are really good as well, because in these you've got a fine glitter, a chunky glitter, shapes. You've got a pink one, a blue one, a silver one, and a purple one. So, and a couple of spares there. So I think I've got enough glitters now to last me a lifetime, I have to say. With all of that, all of these, that box, that box and that box, and those two. Then we've got a pot with my katana in it, some spare brushes. I don't even know what that is, I can stay at that. Ruined. Cheap brushes these were, these silver ones, I think. They're really cheap off eBay, look at this. Rubbish, I don't, I don't use any of them now, to be honest. Um, okay, so that's this shelf. And then here we have my coloured acrylics. Now I got this box, somebody had recommended this from uh, the range it was. I think it was 4 99 but what an ace box. Look at all these powders, oh excuse my fingers, that it's managed to hold so you can get two in a section. I'm just missing a few now, one, two, three, four, I've got five more to buy and then it's full. I think I counted these up last week, they're £5 each, so that was £165 just for those. Wowie. But they will last such a long time because you probably, I don't know how many sets you get out of one pot, I've not really worked it out, but quite a lot I suppose. So I'm trying to keep all my dark colours one side and then go for my lighter colours, these are all my new colours. I'm very excited about using these and then of course I did all the pops go with them so they're there in this this drawer i just bought last week from um wilkinson's 1999 really really good drawer massive deep drawers probably a bit too big actually i wanted a smaller one but they didn't have any and these drawers don't fall out which i wanted them to be able, i wanted to be able to take them out to put them on my desk to show my clients but they don't come out so these have got all my gems in and most of these I bought from eBay and I've been collecting them over the last year or so since I've been doing nails. They're lovely those. Some of them I've not used yet because they're, they're still so new. They're the pointed back ones so you can use acrylic to put those in and make a nice design with those. sorts in there, the gold bits and pieces, that's that one. In this one we have flowers, those flowers which I used last week, the yellow one, these which I haven't used yet which I'm going to use and these crappy things from um, the range, I might just chuck those away actually. Then I've got, this is the new thread um, Angel Thread from Strawberry, uh, sorry, in Strawberry from Glitter Arty Nails. I've not used that yet either. And also I've got the Metallic Mesh in Silver. And I've actually ordered two more of these today in pink and lilac, I think, because I thought I might get a lot of wear out of those. Uh, we'll see anyway. But you actually, they're £1.25 or something like that, and you actually get quite a good piece. So looking forward to using those. Some netting that I use. So this drawer's got all my bits and pieces in it, really. All my angel papers. I can't remember where I bought those from. I think they were five off eBay for like a couple of pounds. I actually have had these quite a while. And they come in all different, different colours. And then I've got a whole box full of snakeskin. Ew. And I have actually done a nail snakeskin. I don't think I've ever used this amount, ever. But if anybody wants some, let me know and I will gladly post you some out. So this is all this is all my things like that. So I'm building on that collection. This one I keep all my new tips. These are all my tips that I've bought 
ready to use. So I've got quite a few of those. And then in the bottom drawer, these are all my cheap tips that I've had off eBay over the years and never really done anything with. This one has my powders in. So this is all my powders. They're all CJP, as you can see. Slush Fairy, uh, Rosa, Crystal Glass, which is my new one I got this week, so I was running low. Milky Pink, uh, Amore, Cherry Blossom, Snow White, which I hate, Birthday Suit, Crystal Glass again. So they're your, they're your core powders, they're your main ones that you're going to use, I would suggest. These are just some bits and pieces of glitters. Oh, I didn't even know I had that. So what I started doing initially was making them up with clear and putting them in pots. And then I stopped doing that because A, you were using too much powder. And B, you were never actually getting through it. So some of these are already made up and I forget that they're there. I need to go, I need to be mindful. And then in this bottom one, we have all these pops. These are Neo. Most of them are Neo and NSI. When I first started, before I did my course, I, oops, sorry, excuse me, I bought this stuff. I bought some more NSI, whether that's genuine or not, I don't know. Essential Nails, that was my very, very first pot of powder. I've got a UV gel there, which I've never used. I don't like gel at all. So these are all like my spare powders. My um, daughter is thinking of starting, so I might let her um, use some of this stuff rather than my precious CJ pen. I've got uh, my hand somewhere, Handria. Mm, she's in here, here she is. So Lucy can use Handria to do some practicing on because she's quite interested in doing it. So we'll let her do that. Over here, I've got my alcohol wipes. So we've got this, which I do use on my, on my files every time I've had a client. And then at the end of the weekend, because obviously I only work weekends, I use this, which I'll show you, which is a really, really good little box. Again, this was eBay, six ninety five. You put all your tools in there and then you put your bar beside or whatever you're going to use in the bottom. So I do that. I keep all my towels in here. I keep my acetone. That's running out, so I've got a new one there. Um, nail polish remover and then I've got my CJP monomers and then I've got an old one here that, that's nearly finished is a Neo Nails and then all my spare towels so that's in there so just going back to this side so we've got the nail spray then we've got the prep spray and then this is the one that I'd had from Essential Nails when I first started then I've got some little cotton pads in there and then we have the good stuff. These are all the spare glitters that didn't fit in the pot. So as you can see, a shitload of glitters, some of which I've doubled up on. You can never have too much orange glitter. This one, again, is just two glitters and the flow from the top one. Then we have all this. Right, does anybody need all them brushes when I don't even do nail art? What's that about? I've got sponges that I don't think I'd ever use. I've got all these paints. What even is that? I didn't even know I had that. To be honest. I've got loads. I was thinking of ordering some paints the other day, but I've actually got some. But I would like to have a go practicing and have a go at maybe a bit of art. Anyway, so that's all there. And then in the bottom one, we have all the stamping stuff. Oh, I think that shouldn't be in there. So we have some of these foils. I don't know why that's come off its roll. Some of the foil glue, all the stamping plates. That's gorgeous, that one. Look at that one. Might use that today. Somebody bought me as a secret Santa. I've got about three or four stampers in one go and a couple of plates. Yeah, they're still in my bag, so I don't even know what to do with them all. Then I've got my striping tapes. 
stamping plate, they've not even used. We've got some more foils here, some stickers, all that kind of stuff. I've got any decals though. That's lovely, look at that. Lovely eyes. So that's in there. And then I have my kitchen roll that I couldn't work without, my little bin. And then my um, dust collector that kind of spits out more than it collects, to be honest. I keep emptying it and then it comes, it just blows out of the sides. Anyway, so in here is spare boxes and if I get them out, I'll just show you quickly. Oh, hang on. This is my essential nails course my practice nails 65 percent that's not great is it well done you've passed <clears throat> and the book that you learn with so all that stuff is all in there so i'm gonna shove all this back in so that's in there and then we have in here these pots I got from, I'm sure it was eBay, one, two, three, four, five, 20 pots for 3 95 Very, very reasonable. And glittery, arty nails, I think they were about, it was either that site or another one, and they were about £8 or something like that. Really. Little clips for soaking off. Gel polish, acrylic, some foil, some wrap up the nails. There's my pops. Um, little pot for stirring stuff. They're great though. This is little pots. Little caps for your bottles. Polish. Got some tape there to protect your fingers when you're firing. My soap bowl that I use regularly. And then in there I have all my drill bits. Two old, remember them old files. Gosh, I keep them as spares, you never know. One day I might need them. So that's all in there. Some dis display things. I don't really use that anymore. Those for toes. I don't even know what those sticks are for. So that's in that. That's why this desk is placed, because you can get so much in it. Right, the next drawer we have all my files. These are all my new ones that I've just bought. TNBL ones, which I've not used any yet. I've still got Beauty Lounge ones, Edge ones, OPI ones, Banana ones. I've got quite a lot, really. Buffing blocks. They're new as well. I've got some of these old buffing blocks. Not too keen on those things a bit hard. Cotton wool pads, gloves. Um, orange sticks, spare, no white top coat, just got that today, cleanser for gel polish, although I don't really use that polish anymore, because we use no white, don't we? And then I've got some of these, which I don't think anyone even uses those anymore, so that's in there. And then in here we have my forms, that I don't really use any of, display tips, a couple of packets of those. And then the rest are all of my um, tips that I'm currently using. So you've got stiletto ones, square ones, natural ones, clear ones. So that's all in there. And then in this drawer we have, this is what you need, Nikki, is all these baskets to go inside your drawers. So all the tools that I don't use on a regular basis are at the back. All my files here that I do use. My main tools that I use are in here. So your stalk scissors, your cuticle pushes, your brush, that kind of stuff. Your brush. So there's probably about five pieces in here goes in that antiseptic wash thing, I always call it, once a week. Um, so I'll probably do, I only do like two clients a week or something, so then I'd wash them all. So in the back here, we've got some, some of that stuff again. We've got some um, nail tip remover, cuticle remover, another bottle of that. Then we've got all your cotton pads and your 
lint pads and some stronger pads there. And then in here we have uh, all the glues, all your prep stuff, top coats, all that kind of stuff, all that jazzy stuff in there. So that's some essential stuff in there. So this drawer is ace because you've just got so much in it. Look at that. And then over here we have, this is all the fun stuff as well. We have all these little coloured powders. Some, some are just little cheap ones from eBay. We've got a couple of NSI ones in here. That is a Glam and Glitz. Then in there we've got a couple that I've mixed myself. That one and that one. Little pots for mixing, spoon for stirring, and then here, here's my main stuff. So I decant them out of the big ones into the small ones, if you know what I mean. So a more crystal glass birthday suit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And um, coconut milk. I think when I opened this drawer, then all the dust went up my nose. Perfect peach, milky pink. All that kind of stuff. Then I've got all my little bottles got another one up here that's still got a bit of liquid in so we need to empty that and then on my desk i have just bought this so i'm hoping and look i did that about 10 minutes ago and i wanted to see if it actually drained to the bottom and it doesn't so no more contaminating my little bottles excuse my fingers again with um glitter and stuff so i'm looking forward to using that you just got to be careful not to press it. So this is my new drill. I did have one the same as this, but it was in way better quality. Look at that for poor quality. It's really shit, isn't it? And look how they've cut around that little light. It looks really poor. But it works and it's doing the job, so it'll do for now. The other one, I think, was about 35 or £40 pound, and it was way better condition, way better quality than this one. And this looks half the size. It looks diddy. Then you've got my... Essential Nails Lamp, which I couldn't do without. Look at the difference. Yeah, it's lovely. And here we have Handelina, and she's sitting waiting. I've just put some tips on her, so that's ready to be filed. And you need to stick her onto a tile or glass, because otherwise she's not gonna stick. So I got this from the range, 5 99 I think it was, and it just sits up. Not going anywhere, look at that. So that's great, I love that. So I just have a towel down on my desk. I have a protective cloth underneath. I don't know why really, because I've really wrecked my desk, look. I've wrecked it there. I've wrecked my lamp with something. I've wrecked it over here, look. So I might have to strip it and re-varnish it, I don't know yet. Oh, now I've just put bloody dust everywhere. So this little baby is the best thing ever. On some of the sites that I've seen, they're charging six ninety nine for this, and I'm sure I got it off eBay for, I don't know, I can't remember. I've had it a while, but it wasn't expensive at all. But look at that, how it cleans up. You've got to get one of them. This is my little tripod when I do my filming. So when I'm doing a client, it sits here. When I'm doing Handelina, it sits kind of here, over the top. And that was eight ninety nine from again from eBay. And what a bargain that was. And it does take this big phone as well, which is great. Then we've got my cuticle oil and I've had this for over a year. And it's honey and milk and I got this off Amazon, 5 99 And it's just gonna last forever. And it smells divine. Then I've got my Sun 5 lamp. As soon as you put your hand in, it starts curing. Look at that. And because it's got lights in the side, if you can see there, when you put your thumb in, it cures your thumb. And it doesn't half save you time because when you've got a client, if they're having to put the hand in separately and then do their thumb as well, it just kind of takes forever. Um, so that's kind of it, really, I think. A couple of, there's my certificate on the wall. Me with my cap and gown sharing off. Me and my two girls. And then up there we have a little telly, so we have a bit of music on when clients are here, or um, TV or whatever. So I hope you liked my little tour of my room. 
Did I miss anything out? Oh yeah, there was a drawer this side you didn't see. In here is my machine. I've got some glue for Handria, some prep for Handria, wipes, which is essential for Handelina. Um, some of these display things. That was the first tripod that I tried and it was just shit. It kept falling off because it was too heavy. Tips for Handelina. And then the rest for the um, drill. I've got a little lamp here, which is like a little um, curing lamp. I've never really used it. Look at that. How nice is that? So you could flash cure, couldn't you, for two or three seconds? I'll have to I'll bring that to the front of the door so I, so I don't so I use it. My matches and my little candle. I've got a candle here on the desk, which makes it nice. Smells lovely. Again, I think they're from Aldi's, $3.99. And then I have my brushes on here. So I've got my two CJP brushes and then I've got this one, which is the number four, I think. I'm not really sure. And then I've got my fan there when it gets extremely hot in here. Pictures of my babies. So that's about it, really. So I hope you like that bit of a tour. Um, and now I'm going to crack on and do try and be creative and do something on Handelina. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, and let me know what you think and what I can improve on maybe. All right, see you girls and boys, maybe. <laughs> All right, thanks very much. Bye, 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 bye.